Welcome to day 12 of our 30 days of healing inspirations. A journey that we're going on together with the Holy Spirit and the Word of God to build up our believer. Hi, I'm Jennifer Deloach and I want to share with you that I'm enjoying this journey. I'm over here in this beautiful creek and I uh, have a beautiful background for you to watch as you hear the Word. And I want to say that I'm not a physician. I'm not in the medical field, but I am an evangelist and I am an encourager that encourages you in the Lord and um, share with you the spiritual truths that God has shown me that has changed my life. And I know it'll change your life as well. So we're here to build up our believer. Now, I want to share, uh, actually, I want to do the affirmation that we've been doing for the last several days. And it's Romans 12, 2. And as I am inwardly transformed by the Holy Spirit through a total reformation of how I think. This empowers me to discern God's will as I live a beautiful life and satisfying and perfect in His eyes. I'd like for you to repeat that with me. Okay, I'll say it first and then you can say it afterwards. I am inwardly transformed by the Holy Spirit through a total reformation of how I think. This empowers me to discern God's will as I live a beautiful life, satisfying and perfect in His eyes. All right. Now, first of all, I would like to say, <laughs> I've been saying I would like to say, you know, I would like to say, I would like to say, well, you, you know, that's ministering to me right now. We are to say that what Jesus would say. We are to say what we hear our Father say, what the Holy Spirit says. We are to say what the Word of God says. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Amen. <laughs> so we're going to do a recap of yesterday's. And that with title was Snap to Attention, right? And so it was Psalms 103.3. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all of His benefits who forgives all my iniquities, who healeth all my diseases. And the Amplified says, Bless affectionately, gratefully praise the Lord, O my soul, and all that is deepest within me. Bless His holy name. And you know, and it, and it goes on and says, And forget not any of His benefits. And so we talked about what the soul was. The soul is the mind, the will, the emotions. And here David was saying and commanding his soul to say and to do and it was to bless the Lord with everything that was within him so he was saying will you will bless the Lord mind you will bless the Lord emotions you will bless the Lord so he was not moved by his feelings he would say bless the Lord on my soul when he began to be moved by his feelings and that's what we're to do if we're to see in a, any situation, any circumstance, we are to bless the Lord and t demand of our soul, soul, you will bless the Lord. I'm not going to go by my feelings. I'm not going to be ruled by my emotions. But I'm going forward and I'm going to bless the Lord. And, and in any situation, in any circumstance, even whatever may be going on in your body, because as you say in these things, blessing the Lord, spirits, you know, blessing the Lord with the mind, will, and emotions, you are releasing a powerful, powerful, powerful Word of God in on the situation. And God's Word is alive and active and eager to do what it says. Amen? And it has the power within itself to bring itself to pass. So when we bless the Lord with our soul, we are truly blessing our own lives. Amen? Well, today we're talking about kill the killer thoughts that's trying to kill you. Now, that's not talking about people now. We're, our problem is not people. And uh, so, but it's killing the killer thoughts that's trying to kill you. Thoughts that have said that you may have heard all your life. Thoughts that you may have grown up hearing. Words that you've grown up hearing that caused your thoughts to think less of yourself than you should and you know like someone may have said to you you're a nobody someone might have said you can't do anything right somebody may say you'll never be successful 
Why are you doing that? You should do it this way. <laughs> Whatever it is, I want you to know that we can take control over all those thoughts and evict them out of our souls. So now we're going to go to, I'm going to go on my notes right here. <laughs> thoughts that you take ownership of, you bring into your life. And we discussed before that just because a, um, a thought comes to your head, it does not mean it's yours unless you take ownership of it and think on it. Then you've let it inside the, the soul gates and you're thinking on it. You may be meditating on it. Worry is an example of that. And so we want to evict those wrong thoughts. Those thoughts is trying to kill us and we know stress kills, worry kills, fear kills and so we are to evict those kinds of thoughts and trust God grab hold of the the right thoughts to take their place and also we're talking about your inner speaking the communion that you have with yourself what are you saying to yourself do you do things like uh, what does that say duh no and and things like you you may think I don't know if I can do this the Bible says you can do all things through Christ who gives you strength. You may need some wisdom. You may need some knowledge. But that's obtainable. And uh, you can do all things. You can do anything you set your mind to do. What is it that God is telling you? Is He saying you're not going to get well? Is He saying that this sickness is going to stay on you? Is He saying that this situation will never change? It's all subject to change. And you get to change it with the words of your mouth. And it starts with the way you think. Okay, so we're killing those killer thoughts that's trying to kill us. Hallelujah. What you're thinking on determines the quality of your life. I'm serious. That is so true. And as a man thinks, and this is in Proverbs 23, 7, I believe, that as a man thinks, so is he. You become what you think. So might as well think some good stuff about yourself so you become that. Amen. So, oh, let me see. Killer thoughts? Okay, you may have asked yourself, how can thoughts be the harmful? They actually take up mental real estate. I first, I first heard of this from Dr. Leaf, Dr. Caroline Leaf, and you can go to her website, and I'll leave a link. It's Dr. Dr. Leaf, like the leaf of a tree, L-E-A-F dot com. It's Dr. Leaf dot com. And thoughts build in your mind what you're thinking of. Your, your thinking, your thoughts are giving it the material to build in your, in your mind. Whether negative or positive, either way it builds. So since we're building, let's build quality, quality thoughts, right? And let's build quality uh, things in our mind. And this and what it's whichever way you go and you're thinking it determines what your destiny will be so you know you like I said you may have been told you were a nobody that you can't do anything right you might have been called names you might not have been able to have friends um, you know most of your life you may be, have been a loner you may have been sick a lot in your life whatever the situation is and the circumstance the principle is the same. You change the way you think and you change your life. Right now, no matter what your past has been, your future can be bright. It determines what you do right here in the N-O-W, in the now, right? So start by starting and kill those killer thoughts that's trying to kill you. These words and thoughts build in you an image. So what it, whenever, whenever you're saying that you're a nobody, what does the Word of God say about you? Huh? What's it say? It says you're precious in His eyes. He says that His mind is on you. It says that He loves you very dearly. What does the Word say about you? That's what you believe. And Joshua 1.8, I encourage you to learn that and to meditate on that scripture because it'll make, grab and hold of the Word of God day and night. It'll change the way you think. It'll change your image of you to come more in line with what God's image is of you. And that's like the image of Jesus Christ. 
and that's our destiny. <laughs> so we want to have like thoughts according to that. <coughs> now to kill, you know, I want to tell you how I even, why I'm even saying kill the killer thoughts is trying to kill you. I said, mm, I'm thinking it's 2016, probably, possibly 2017. I woke up hearing these words, kill the killer thoughts that's trying to kill you. And I was like, wow. So I grabbed the pad and the pen and I started writing. And you know, I knew that to kill any thought that would oppose life would take effort, it would take energy, it would take discipline on my part and something that has to be done to truly go forward in life. And I mean, think about this, you can't be passive in life. And, and be successful. It just doesn't happen. And you can't, and to expect to be successful in going forward in any good in, endeavor, you have to really put forth effort. You have to be disciplined. You have to go forward. So there is a work to it, but the work is so rewarding. The, the, uh, the res results are so rewarding. <clears throat> so take control of your thoughts. Take control of your thoughts. Um, it, even if it's work and it's an effort on your part to work it out, at first it's not easy. But as we step and make that first step, and, and it's, you start by stepping, you start by going forward. You start with the first step. And though you may see where you wanna be at one point, you know, you may see where you wanna be and you're not there, it's okay. It starts with the first step. So take those steps and go forward and don't be so hard on yourself. And what I mean by that is thinking killer thoughts, like, oh, I'm not gonna ever make it. Well, I don't know if I'll be healed or not. Oh, is it truly God's will to heal me? Is, is it really God's will for me to be together with this person? I mean, the relationship is like north and south or east and west. But yes, God, if, you know, if, it's not, if they're not abusive, you know, you can change the whole situation. And even if they're abusive, but you don't want to stay in that kind of relationship, you can do the work in a separate home, <laughs> you know, be in a safe place, right? So you can't be passive. You can't just let things happen. You can't give up. You can't just sit on the sidelines. You get up. You may not have the energy to get up. But did you know that what you give your attention to, you create that energy? You create the, that avenue for God to get involved. I mean, He's involved, but for you to get a position to receive from Him. So this is all important. And, um, and I'm in a picnic area, so you may hear some people talking. And taking control of your thoughts that is the first step now I want to share something with you that happened I was at living at Hilton Head and we're almost here so I'll, I'll tell you that one tomorrow it was an example an amazing example of a guard at a gate and I'll share that tomorrow but the way we affect uh, the way we think affects our lives and the way we think rules in our souls so we want to make sure that what's ruling in, the, in our souls, our mind, will, and emotions is something that we actually want to be in control. And our emotions are not to be in control. Our feelings are not to be in control, right? We are to feel our soul, you know, it's like a garden. Put the Word of God in there. Go into scriptures and find at least two, at least two scriptures. And I'd love for you to comment in, in below and tell me what those two scriptures were for you that you're changing the way you think on that. Two scriptures, okay? And, and know that God's will is for you to prosper in every area of life, and God wants you well. And so keep on building up your believer and know that God has an amazing life for you, and it's just you coming in in alignment with that beautiful life. And that the affirmation that we say every day, that is part of what I'm helping you do. I am inwardly transformed by the Holy Spirit through a total reformation of how I think. This empowers me to discern God's will as I live a beautiful life, satisfying and perfect in His eyes. And this is how you do it, okay? So if you have any questions, put that below in the comments. 
And if you have something that you want to share with me that you've learned in today, what was your aha moment today? And don't let the killer thoughts kill you. Amen. You get the thoughts that are more, good overcomes evil. Amen. So when those evil thoughts come, when knocking at your soul gates, you have the word of God there that makes it flee. Amen. So stop it from coming in. Stop it from coming in. Wow. Praise you, Lord. Father, I lift up each one before you. And I thank you for the working of the Holy Spirit in each of our lives, conforming us to be more like Jesus Christ, conforming us to becoming in alignment with the Word of God. We thank you for the Word of God that's doing a work mildly on the inside of us. And we give you praise for all that you're doing in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Go and have an amazing day. And remember, keep building up your believer. Bye-bye.